Welcome, welcome to this week's The Choice. Welcome to this week's The Choice. This week we're heading up to Manitoba. North. Up North. to Adrenaline Outfitters. Adrenaline Outfitters. Ross and the guys and Shelly and they're just rocking. Yeah, they got all kinds of bears coming in. But before we start, Lucky, Lucky Logo. Lucky Logo, baby. Nap. NAP. New Archery mm. Products. Nap. <laughs> no. Yep. Hellraiser, Spitfires, Thunderheads, Quick Spins. I mean, all kinds of different things. So they you put look the animals. Them. They give the animals a nap. Get it? Because We'll tell you what to do with that if you find the logo at the end of the show. Let's not so waste any time because... No, we got to head into Luke. Luke. And Russ. Russ's is, son, Luke, is actually guiding and filming his Guiding dad. and filming. And really, this is... It's about family. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Check this one out. Okay, Luke. So this is your first time guiding? Mm-hmm. And you're going to guide Dad to how big a bear? Six feet. Six feet? Yeah. Now, are we going to try to shoot a boar or a sow? Boar. So who's helping us today? Who's going to run the camera? Mommy. Who's running the camera? Oh, yeah. Luke. You're going to be running one camera, and Mom's going to be running the other camera in case Mom messes something up, right? You're going to... Yeah, I want cameras all over. So are you going to film the bear or Daddy? Both. You're going to do both? You're going to be sitting right beside me. If I can try. Okay. Russ and Shelly, Joel Penner, Rod McGrath, everybody up there at Adrenaline Outfitters are just a bunch of great people. And uh, we've been fortunate enough to be invited up there several times over the past few years to go bear hunting with them. And uh, Luke is getting to play guide for the day. And sure enough, as luck would have it, it starts getting a little bit late in the evening, but Luke does a great job and puts his dad on a very good bear. at the video and it was kind of high and far back and maybe not quite as bad as I thought originally but uh, I got some track and help today we're gonna take uh, take it slow and it was a good cold night I don't think uh, there'll be any damage any meat or hide or anything first I got to try to get the arrow out of the tree <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's gonna happen oh there we go good Save that nightmare for another day. Uh, 2009 spring bear here in Manitoba. I uh, sat with Luke last night. Had a six year old in the tree stand, which was really entertaining. Uh, there was lots of activity in the tree stand, not so much on the, on the bait site, but that's uh, to be expected, he's six. But uh, at the end of the evening, everything came together and we were fortunate enough to put a pretty decent hit on a nice solid black bear. So my season's done. And Luke's got his first bear in the books, as far as the guide goes, so. We'll see how he does next year, or maybe he'll take out mom now. It's a great way to spend an evening. Russ, Luke, Shelly, that was incredible. It was, now don't go anywhere, when we come back, yep. we've got Joel is up to bat. Right, Joel's Joel, up to bat on he's his He's up bear. to hunt, not up really to, bat. Up to Hoyt. Don't go anywhere. He didn't wear Hoyt's, Joel. Hey, welcome back to the Choice. Now we're going back up with Adrenaline Outfitters up in Manitoba, and this yep. time we have Joel Penner. He is up to bat, and it's his turn for those big Manitoba bruins. That's right. And, and Joel, if if you had Luke, you might have even done better.
All right, now we're going to go up with Joel Penner, one of our posse members of the General Outfitters. And he's chasing these chocolate phase and black bears up there. And uh, one of the cool things is adrenaline with this chocolate bear coming in. Joel passes on this chocolate that most people would shoot. It's the problem with these color phases. They don't get big very quick because they get shot too quick. So this chocolate bear is sitting on the bait and it becomes a chess match between him and this black bear. Chocolate bear's in, black bear comes in. Chocolate leaves, chocolate comes back, black bear leaves. Joel's sitting here juggling around trying to figure out what he's gonna do with these two bears. And knowing Joel, most guys would kill that chocolate phase, but knowing Joel, he's probably gonna let that guy walk so he can grow, because they don't get big by getting shot and they grow big bears up there at Adrenaline. I think I shot the toughest sow in the entire woods. That's right, it's a sow. Has no ears, crease in the head. This bear completely, completely fooled me. Uh, we actually, I let a, a, a much larger bear walk, waiting for the really big guy. And uh, this thing came up the hill straight behind the bait site and had a crease in its head, no ears. And uh, after that point, I was just concentrating on uh, when I was gonna put the arrow or where I was gonna put the arrow I was at full draw forever because we had swirling winds and uh, I didn't want this thing to bolt and as soon as it gave me the broadside shot I took it which was over a minute and a half which was hard for an old fellow like myself but uh, you know what it was I was pumped this bear is perfect perfect bear other than that it's not a male I got fooled so first sow I've ever shot I got to spend that time in the tree with a friend of mine that I don't get to hunt very often with very often he's from uh, Wisconsin he got to come up he shot a great bear on Sunday nice chocolate bear and uh, got to recover a nice chocolate bear from my pal Rod and his son Gates from from last night's hunt as well and you know what I couldn't be happier it was a fun hunt a great shot a great recovery the bear went I don't know 80 yards down straight down a hill and piled up and you know it's all good just uh, a nasty looking sound absolutely no ears. Partial ear here, no ear here. Neat looking bear, just uh, too tough. Hey Joel, congratulations. Now, you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, Hoppy, who y'all know, seen us hunting down there yep. in Florida with him, his son Sage is up there with adrenaline, bear hunting. On don't the kids' anywhere. hunt. That's right. This is awesome. Don't go anywhere. Awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, like we said, it's Sage Kempfer's turn. Oh yeah, he you're doing all there. the talking. He is up there with Adrenaline Outfitters. They have a youth hunt. It's an, I mean, it's what it's all about. It's getting the kids out there in the woods. Sage, these kids are the future. I think you're standing over too far. There you go, that's better. I'm Sage Kempfer and we're here in Manitoba hunting bears with Adrenaline Outfitters. We're gonna see if we can get us a big bear, and I don't know if we're gonna be sitting down when he comes in or he's gonna be standing up. So I'm gonna practice both. Top left hand corner. Top right hand corner. We're shooting pretty good right now. See if we can do that tomorrow afternoon. The last four days, the wind has been bad. Today, the wind is blowing towards this river down here, and it's so steep, I don't think a bear will come up it. So I think, I think the bears will come in from these woods over here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a bear tonight. The wind's perfect and everything. 20, 20 to the green barrel, 24 and a half to the blue, and 30 to that bent tree. 
Sage is really pumped about his first bear hunt. And a really cool thing is, Sage being 13 years old, he's old enough to hunt in Manitoba. From 12 to 17 years old, you're considered a youth hunter in Manitoba. And Adrenaline believes so much in the youth program up there that if you book a hunt and you bring a youth between 12 and 17 years old, they'll hunt for free and make it an affordable hunt. And I'm telling you what, that is cool. I can't really tell it's a first year cub or a second year cub. I don't see his mom, but maybe his dad will come in. I'm not even gonna shoot this bear and my knees are shaking. downhill stage? What? Is he going downhill? Um, uh, if I can find some blood, I'll tell you. Right there. Is that blood? Yep. Alright, keep walking. Awesome! What? Is that a bear? That's it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> thanks Joel. You're welcome Sage. Glad to have you. You're an like amazing thank, guy. I'd like to thank um, Rod too for taking me the beginning of this week and putting me on bears. And You know what you're a stud of a guy you sat a lot of hours in the tree and you're very patient. I can't believe how how mature you are as, as a hunter. It's amazing to me actually. I, if we could have a camp full of guys like you Every year we do it for sure. You're an amazing guy. Thanks. I really appreciate you coming up. That was great. And hey, you made a great shot. It looked a little bit off, but actually it turned out to be a very good shot. So nicely done. Thank Thanks you. for coming up. Sage, congratulations and you happy. Go, Thanks for getting the boys involved. That is awesome. I just think you need to understand something. Those boys are pure rednecks. They'd have been hunting no matter what. <laughs> You're right. Hey, don't go anywhere. We come back. Shelly, Luke's mom, Russ's, Russ's wife, wife, is up next. Another woman hunter. I'm so happy. 
Au. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, Shelly is up. Yeah, Shelly And she's going to show the boys how it's done with a 10-point crossbow. Oh, my gosh. Well, Shelly had a slow spring, and here she is back in the tree stand in the fall bear hunting. And as regulation state in the fall, when you're bear hunting in Manitoba as part of the general season, you have to wear your hunter orange. So she's up in the tree stand, set up on an active bait that they've got not too far from their home. And uh, wouldn't you know it, she's in the tree stand, she's got her 10 point, her husband's in the stand filming her, and now all she needs is for a bear to come in. Our, our time that we need to and uh, I really want to get down there and check some sign and see if uh, the hit was as good as it felt um, you just I, I don't know right now so I have to go and and check it out but uh, fingers crossed let's see what's waiting for us down there okay. <laughs> well, this is the end of our bear season. Sometimes we try to end it in spring. <laughs> and some of us just love all the attention and uh, getting to go on road trips with their husband so much that I tried to make mine last all the way till fall. Yeah, we're in Manitoba. It has been cold all summer long. Now it's fall and it's hot. And the bears are loving it. They're moving. So. We loaded up, we came out, and happy ending! Congratulations, Shelly, that Head was away, awesome. Shell. That was a good job, huh? It was, that's what it's all about. You know what's cool is we have, we have mom, dad, and Luke, the son. And Luke, that's right. The ultimate guide, the big master guide of, of Manitoba. There you go. Luke Perfect. Melling. We want to thank everyone up there at Adrenaline Out for Thanks, so, guys For and having girls. everyone up there, and I mean, it, it's been a great show. It Lots is. of bears going down, a lot of family going on. That's, that's what it's about. It is. Don't if forget you, the Lucky Logo. That's right, Lucky Logos, new archery products, a little yeah. NAP logo. If you happen to see it, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com. That's right, you're going to get all kinds of goodies, man. Click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from new archery Ooh, products. Baby. That's Are you right. Ready? Next week's Next show? Next week's show is the Whitetail Posse Buffett Show. Buffet. Yep, they are traveling all over North America in search of the number one most sought after big game animal on this planet, the white-tailed deer. Wow, you should go into Dramatic. narration. Yeah, it the is. The white-tailed hey, deer. Hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Maybe. <laughs>